Hi, I'm Beth Kaberka, Chief Development, Marketing and Communication Officer for the Teleco Village Property Owners Association. And welcome to a discussion celebrating the 10 year anniversary of the marketing program for Teleco Village. With me today are co-founders of the marketing program, Fred Toucher and Joe Bogardis. Welcome Fred and Joe. Hey Beth, thanks Beth. Well, let's get started. Fred, what was going on in the village 10 years ago that led to the necessity of developing a marketing program? Well, Beth, as you know, the village was very slow to recover from the 2006-2008 housing crisis. Uh, by 2012, existing homes were down 60%. Property values had plummeted. And time on market had grown to seven to eight months. If you could sell your home at all in Teleco Village, it took an awful long time. There was really no or very little to no interest in Teleco Village Homes. There was low awareness for the community. And that's because they really hadn't marketed the Teleco Village brand in over 10 years. The POA board at the time uh, saw that something needed to be done and an opportunity to do it. Isn't that right, Joe? That's right, Beth. Uh, the board was aware that 77 million baby boomers were getting ready to retire. And millions of them were ready to relocate. So the board thought it'd be appropriate to advertise Teleco Village. And the approach that they used was to have a couple of large scale meetings involving realtors, board members, and interested parties to devise a plan. How'd that go, Fred? Not well. <laughs> we proved that you cannot put together an effective plan with 30 people in a room. Uh, but the second meeting that we had, I met Joe and uh, came to Joe at the end of the meeting and I said, hey, let's get together and talk Teleco Village Marketing, just the two of us. And we did that afternoon. Yeah, that's right. Fred came over to my house and we talked for four hours. Uh, we talked about uh, all kinds of things. Uh, we talked about, is the POA really committed to executing a plan? And uh, we, we had a wide range of topics. Uh, at the end of that four hour session, I can still recall <laughs> Fred turning to me and saying, Joe, I think we have enough information that you can write the marketing yes. plan. And uh, I said to Fred, Fred, I'll be happy to write the marketing plan if you write the brand strategy. Mm -hmm. Fred agreed and we went to work. So why did you guys think that you could do this type of work? Create a plan, develop a strategy? Because we've been doing stuff like this our entire professional life. Um, my background, for example, at the beginning of my career, I worked for two large package goods companies uh, in brand management. And then I spent over 20 years running a marketing operation for what became the world's, the country's, arguably the world's, the <laughs> country's largest uh, independent advertising agency. And I was a principal in that company. Um, I have a degree in communications. Uh, I worked for advertising agencies and two uh, large legacy brands domestically and internationally. Uh, as, like Fred said, it's what we had done it was who we were, brand managers. Okay. So what happened next, Fred? Well, for the last two weeks of June in 2012, Joe wrote the plan. I wrote the marketing position and brand strategy. We went back and forth, exchanged ideas and refined them. And at the end of that period, after a couple of weeks, uh, we worked pretty hard at it. In a couple of weeks, we thought we had something that we could take forward. And we went to the board and uh, told the POA leadership that they not only should advertise Teleco Village, but they should market Teleco Village. And said, here was the plan that would help them do that. And what was the reaction to that, Joe? The board was receptive. Uh, one thing we told our board was that we needed to hire an advertising agency because we had no idea how much the program was going to cost and uh, we needed to have uh, a number of materials created. So was a requested proposal done and was an agency search started? Yeah, uh, Joe and I had both been involved in multiple advertising ser agency searches in the past. In fact, I had been involved in them from both sides. I've been involved in them from the client side and an agency side. And uh, so we knew how to conduct one and we initiated the search and by the end of July, we'd identified three agencies, had them present uh, to the POA board and to us. And at the end of those presentations, we were in unanimous agreement that the agency we wanted on behalf of Teleco Village was Tomris. They're a really good agency. 
So we hired Tombras, and then in the next week, uh, we went to the Tombras headquarters in uh, Knoxville, and uh, we set to work. Uh, we outlined our plan, shared the brand strategy, discussed uh, all the materials that needed to be created, uh, a, new, uh, a new website, uh, print advertising, billboards. Uh, we just needed a raft of things. Uh, the village had no promotional materials at that time. So what did you guys do next? Well, we worked closely with the agency all the way through the creative development process. And at the end of that process, they made a presentation to us and uh, they blew us away. Uh, that stuff was really, really good and we approved it and then I went to France. That's right. After the agency presented the campaign concept, uh, Fred went to France for most of September. Um, we uh, needed photography and video for all the materials. So we had a, uh, an opportunity to do a large photo shoot here in the village involving almost a, a, a hundred villagers. Uh, fortunately, we had outstanding weather. We got some terrific photography. Ten years later, we still use a lot of those photos from, that was captured in that first photo shoot uh, with a lot of our materials. So Fred, do you remember when Winston Blazer called us to his office in late November of that year? Yeah, I really do. Uh, as part of our recommendations, we recommended to Winston and the board that they hire a, they, they needed a full-time marketing manager. And in the preceding two or three months, we'd worked closely with Beth. Uh, we liked her, we, we respected what she's doing. Uh, and we really were intrigued by her background. And so we, at that meeting with Winston, we said, Winston, we suggest strongly you hire Beth. Mm -hmm. And Beth, at that time, you were working part-time here, right? Or for the POA, right? Correct, I was part-time. Um, I was, had been the marketing director for Rarity Communities uh, for the whole start of my career up until that point, and my time with them was winding down. So Winston offered me the job and I accepted it. And we're really happy you did. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are glad that you did that. <laughs> um, Alan Hart, a board member at that time, uh, had challenged us uh, to um, involve realtors uh, in the program. Uh, you proved very helpful with that initiative. Would you mind explaining uh, that segment of our program? As I recall, we came up with an advertising and marketing patch, uh, package that we offered the option to participating realtors who focused majorly on Teleco Village. We had five real estate firms join us in our efforts, and all of them have been with us until today, except for one who left us early in the program, halfway through 2013. Um, the revenue from that program helped offset the cost of the marketing program. It still does. Yes. Mm -hmm. by, uh, early sum uh, by early December, uh, we had most of the materials ready to share with the village. Um, a large community meeting was scheduled for the community church. I remember that night really well. It was raining really hard, but we still had more than 300 villagers, villagers show up at the community church um, to see the introduction of the marketing program. The message concepts presented that night are still in effect today. The innovative idea of having villagers lead tours for us um, sets us apart from every other active adult community in the country and is still a key part of our program today. And this will be my call out to anyone who is interested in being a tour guide to stop by the Welcome Center and sign up. We're always looking for new ones. The whole effort has by far exceeded our expectations. Currently, 52% of village residents have lived here for less than five years. 70% of those can be traced back to mar the marketing program and leads generated. Unit sales are at record levels. Time on market is at an all-time low of 22 days, and we have the highest property values in Teleco Village history. Thousands of people have discovered why it's better in Teleco Village. And we'd like to show you this video that was introduced that night and is still in effect today. The great type of people and community we have in Teleco Village. <laughs> 